Hello, I'm Jane Hiley. Light at the end of the tunnel. What is that I see? Is it a light? Can I see something appearing at the end of this long tunnel? Quick, let's get there and see it. Hurry, we need to arrive. No, wait. What if it's scary? What if we can't see out there because it's too bright? What will it mean to be in the light again? Am I ready for it? John 1 verse 5 says, The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. All this time we have been in a long tunnel, perhaps on a train journey. We cannot go back to where we were before. We have passed that place and time. And now we are aiming for new places, new times. But did we see the light in the darkness? We have been safe. We have had food and shelter. Many of us have had the opportunity to get closer to those nearest to us. In the tunnel, there are fewer distractions. We have quiet time to think and pray or to read. We are made to sit still. We can give time to hear the inner voice of God. God does not go away when we travel through a tunnel. He comes with us. He is shining his light in that darkness. Even when we are really sad and low, he sits by our side and waits with us. He calls us on to prepare for what is coming ahead. When the train gets to a new station, perhaps a new country, will we be prepared? Will we know what our next steps are? What is this light that is ahead? Will it mean that we have to seek for new employment or make new friends because sadly we have lost some old ones along this dark part of our journey? Will we need to make big decisions and who is going to help us? Do we really want to rush out into the light and forget what we have learned and enjoyed? Look out of the window. What do you see? God's light is still shining, whether we are in a tunnel or aiming for a new day. Can we see? that when we eventually drive out of the tunnel into the glorious light, God will still be there, and if we want him to, he will hold our hand.